how good is the machine gun and stalwart 150 rounds fire rate goes to around 900 or a minimum of, of 630 and the main thing i want to know is can you kill a charger decently because this is a, a gun you can get really early on a support weapon you can have early on and if you can't kill a charger you can't kill a charger It's so inconsistent though. Stalwart has 250 rounds. You can go from 700 RPM all the way to 1150, which I'll be doing right now. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Fire at least 150 rounds in one burst, killing at least 10 enemies. It's stuck. I shoot it as it doesn't make any sense. Stalwart might not be that good against chargers. I'm not sure what makes you think that. It just might not be that great. No reaction. Zero damage. Back confusion. What if I just post it up? can't keep dying to sudoku gamers machine gun versus shield gg okay machine gun versus the bottom of a strider legs maybe leg joint question answered you can't break that that's where the machine gun differs a little bit that's where the machine gun differs, but up until about 150 hours in, I didn't even know you could use a scorcher for anything crazy. So I was just getting behind him anyway. I was aiming at the wrong spot before, but now I'm in the right spot. And it does seem to not do anything at all. Alright, RPMs. I can't aim. Well, it would legit want it won't let me aim down. The reload is not that bad either. If it was a competition, Stalwart went. Mob clearing test, Stalwart edition. So far, not so great. Who gave these kids mortars? Um. I couldn't hit that guy. I couldn't hit that guy, dude. And I took out the Devastator from Narnia. You just have to aim for the head. Machine gun doesn't have to headshot these guys, but it does help if you do. Because you waste so much ammo when you don't. And I'm out of ammo. Magazines you get back per resupply. One from these. That's kind of rigged. Random ammo packs only give you back one magazine for the stalwart and the machine gun. Backpack resupply plus stalwart, you get back two magazines. The machine gun, you get back one. Okay, awesome. What is that? They spawned on... Dude, your mortar strike is such a grief. Levi, come on, bro. At max RPMs, this is a recoil. Not ideal if you're laying down, though. Hello? Better. And if I go ahead and reload, I can't move. And that's how long it takes. But if I shoot, reload... And then cancel it mid reload. It should be a bit faster. It just pulls to the right mostly. Laying down. There's like none. Accuracy test. With the stalwart, this is the 
standing accuracy while moving. It falls the laser pretty consistently. Then with the machine gun. I don't know about y'all, but there's a pretty heavy difference there. Now laying down with the machine gun. Very steady. Clean. Crouching. Still insanely steady. You don't really have to lay down, it seems. That's kind of nice. Laying down with the stalwart. Very consistent. Very similar. I think it's a bit more sway when crouched. I'm not too sure. Machine gun does more damage, has more armor pin, but you can't move while reloading, and you only have 150 rounds per magazine with a potentially lower fire rate and less accuracy, making it to where you have to go prone more often to hit your shots. And even then, it's tough. Stalwart has 250 rounds and the opposite of everything else just listed. And the accuracy is insane. And the accuracy being so good makes Stalwart crazy versus the automatons at lower levels. Not the higher ones, lower levels. Because even though the machine gun has more armor pin, it doesn't do anything against the freaking the Hulks. It does nothing against the Hulks, as far as I can tell. To their front. To the back, it'll do more damage, sure. But when you're facing a Hulk, it's going to be facing you. From what I've seen, Stalwart and Machine Gun are horrendous versus the Tank and the Bow Titan. So I'll just go ahead and skip those entirely. Now versus the Bugs, Stalwart is good for more ammo again. Clearing out all the small critters, but you can't do much against the Kermit Crab. Hey guys, that, you can't freaking post it up like this. What are you going to do? You can shoot underneath the armor at the front a little bit. It just takes a lot more shots than you might like. Machine Gun can shoot through the armor, which is great. Aside from that, though, all the small dudes get destroyed by machine gun and stalwart. So it just comes down to, do you want to sit there and reload and move or sit there and reload and not move? Because that's going to be a big deal. Some of the bugs can slow you if they hit you, and other ones can half-shot you, like the small guys. It's, it's tough out here. So not being able to move or reloading is going to be something you have to take into account. Just saying. And versus the Charger, I'm pretty sure I showed the inconsistencies of how both guns are ricocheting off the armor until they don't. In which case, both guns can destroy the Charger when shooting the leg. The machine gun does a lot more damage in this regard, sure, but they can both do it when the same circumstance is met, and that is either the Charger being low HP for some reason, or an explosion hitting the front legs, which is the weakest part of the Charger. I don't know. With that being said, Stalwart kind of, it's kind of good. Better than some folks think it is. But both guns are not great versus the end game content, which makes sense. They're early game guns. This video is just to give you some idea of how they do against certain things. Use whatever you like. I do not care. And have a good day. Thanks for watching. Well, thanks, thanks for watching as well. Peace.